I have a rather important announcement, and yes, it concerns Cheetos and chicken fries. Burger King has taken these two deliciously iconic snacks and have created Cheetos chicken fries. They're like original chicken fries made with white meat chicken all juicy on the inside but dangerously cheesy on the outside and cooked to crispy perfection. It's like Burger King took the perfect snack and made the perfect snack. Try them now or they'll be gone faster than an order of Cheetos chicken fries. New Cheetos chicken fries only at Burger King. Limited time only at participating restaurants. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why y'all so happy? And you don't know. Charvette Mitchell is on the radio. It's time to get motivated, excited, and, and, and influenced. Why? It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, live from Richmond, Virginia. And now, here to motivate, excite, and influence you, Charvette, Charvette Mitchell. Well, hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show, broadcasting from the capital city of Richmond, Virginia. But guess what? Heard all across the world, wide web. Hi, everybody. So glad to have you joining me here again for another phenomenal show. And listen, we have a jam-packed show today. You are going to be encouraged. You are going to be enlightened. You're going to be inspired. I'm telling you what, it is amazing. It's awesome. So let me tell you uh, about all of our guests. I have one of my guests that's hanging out in the virtual green room right now. We are kicking off the top of the hour here uh, on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with Pastor William J. Bass. He is here with us, and I'm going to be bringing him up to the mic. He's the senior pastor of the River Christian Center and the River United Network and Apostolic Covering to Ministers and Ministries, and he has written a book, The Do, The Day's Encouraging Words. So you're going to get to hear all about it. And then in our second segment, we are, are, are excited to talk to Nicole Smith. Nicole Smith is joining us. She's the founder of the expressions defying the odds, and they are presenting a pink carpet hit the runway event, and this is to raise awareness about breast cancer, and and this is also to contribute funds, yes, so that funds can can go to the research uh, and the furtherance of solving this and curing this with the American Cancer Society. So we're going to be talking to Nicole Smith. And then we have a third segment. Yep, we got a surprise for you, a third segment on today's show. We have another author joining us. You know we love the authors here on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Bertha Bertha L. St. John. She's an author. She's an educator. She's a consultant, and she is a business owner. And she's here today to talk about her brand-new book, Turned Upside Down. This is her testimony about her transformation, and it's going to help everybody everybody so this is what i want you to do jump on facebook jump on twitter tell them what you're listening to jump on instagram say you all need to be listening to this uh and send them over uh send them the link and say come on and listen to the charvette mitchell radio show hello and shout out to all those that are listening online and listening in by way of phone we see you so Without further ado, let's jump right on in to our first segment. I'm going to uh, the virtual green room to bring our first guest up to the mic live now on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Pastor Jeff, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Charvette. How are you today? I am awesome. Thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to, to join us and talk about your new book. Hey, thank you so much for inviting me. I really appreciate the opportunity to to be with you on your show today and uh, just to uh, answer any questions and to share what God is doing. All right, amazing. So let's let's start. As I mentioned, you are a senior pastor, and so I know that that takes, um, you know, a lot of time and a lot of energy. Uh, and so how did you decide, hey, I'm going to, you know, put a book into my schedule as well? Well... <laughs> To make a long story short, uh, I've been pastoring yeah. about 20 years, and um, about 15 years ago, uh, a couple of ministers or pastors had uh, given me a prophetic word that they felt that God was going to use me to write books. And, you know, I, of course, I'm respectful. I said, yes, sir, I, I, I received that, but I, I never really, you know, thought that I would do it or, or anything like that. And uh, so it's been about 15 years. And just wow. in God's timing, He opened the door this year for me to to be able to, 
you know, to write a book uh, based on uh, our radio station uh, Facebook page. I was it started off. I was just uh, doing a daily kind of an inspirational or encouraging word and posting it. And some of my members of my congregation said, "Hey, Pastor, this is blessing me. Why don't you just put it into a book?" So that's kind of how I got started. You know, I mean, as far as writing it. Wonderful. And so the do, uh, tell the listeners uh, the how that plays into the title of the book and all that that represents. Well, you know, basically um, the uh, the title that God gave me of the inspirational uh, word was uh, a daily encouraging word. And I'm, I'm a big person into acronyms and stuff, so I said daily encouraging word. I just took the D, the E, and the W, and I said, oh, that, that spells do. And so, I, you know, I, uh, you know, kind of researched the scripture. And in uh, uh, Deuteronomy 32, verse 2, it was talking about, let my teaching fall like rain and my words descend like dew, like showers on new grass, like abundant rain on tender plants. I said, oh, man, I like that. So yeah. uh, that's how I came up with the title, the dew, the day's encouraging word. All right, all right, there you go. And so who would be your target audience for this book? Well, like I said, I started off, you know, just, you know, uh, you know uh, putting it on the on my Facebook page and, and sending emails to the congregation. But actually, since the book has been out now, since it's uh, late July, early August, I've gotten some uh, comments from people who aren't even Christians. You know, I've... I've had some uh, church members who uh, sold the book into their uh, uh, family members and even some unbelievers. And, you know, basically, I guess the short answer is for, you know, it's uh, simple enough for, for um, Christians and, you know, and, and non-Christians. Um, just basically because it, it's not too deep, it's not too long, it, it's just an encouraging word that some days is scripturally based, some, some days it's just just good common sense, but it's a it's a it's a daily dose to to kickstart your day is how I like to put. Kickstart your day, and don't we all need encouragement? I mean, we look at the news, we look at politics, we see things going on overseas, and that um, can impact just how people feel, and then sometimes it makes people feel discouraged. And so I think this is right on time of saying, okay, here's at least a part of your day. Here I have an encouraging word for you today. Exactly, and that's you know that's part of uh, the vision that God had given me, even for the church. You know, the river. You know, it's a place of refreshing, a place of uh, encouragement, restoration, and hope. And as you so eloquently stated, I mean, it's it's really hard to turn on the news today and find any good news. You know, of course, we know that the good news is the gospel of Jesus Christ, but. But other than that, I mean, every every uh, seems like sound bite is negative, and so you know, just just to get up in the morning, uh, like I said, it's a quick read. It's not two three paragraphs or anything like that, you know. And you you know you read it, and I've even had people say, hey, you know that uh, dude for today or that day's encouraging word. It really it really touched me, and it really helped me because it kind of. Uh, inspired me before I got to work and ironically, and they say ironically I know it was just Holy Spirit inspired but they said, yeah. you know, this 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 really encouraged me because when I went through today if I wouldn't have had this word, I, I don't know how I would have dealt with it, so again, that's pretty much the you know the basis and the genesis of it Wonderful, and uh, I'm over on Amazon, and uh, Amazon has some reviews. So, listeners, you know this is this is reality uh, <laughs> radio. Get ready to say TV reality radio over here. So we like to jump over to Amazon, and uh, Amazon customer said, "Great read, easy to kickstart my day with encur- with words of encouragement." A big thumb up, thumbs up. I suggest everyone purchase this book. Another uh, another person that purchased it, Jacqueline Martin. This book is wonderful. It gives me the courage and inspiration needed to conquer my day. So when you hear those things, you're like, okay, yes, mission accomplished. Yeah, I basically, you know, I you know I try to be humble, but I say, you know, to God be the glory. I mean, I just thank God that He used me to write this book to encourage, you know, to encourage people, um, you know, and, and is doing, you know, hopefully exactly what it was intended to do, 
you know, to kickstart your day, to give you encouragement and hope as you go in. Because as, as we know, you know, on our job, every day is not a not a bowl of cherries. Some days are really tough, and and you know, just to get up in the morning and and to read it, you know, it's uh, I think it's great. Also, this is volume one because it was intended, it, or the book is intended to be like two volumes. Um, the oh. first volume is is for like six months. Worse. That's why it's. Uh, I start off with day one uh, up through the first six months, which is about 181 days. And in volume two, I already have a draft, and uh, it'll be coming out probably by spring. And so, basically, a person they don't. You know, you can just start at any day. I mean, you don't have. It's not like where you have to start the first of the year, like a Bible reading plan. You can you can get it tonight or tomorrow and start at day one. And by the time those you you get through the six months, so preferably I'll have volume two out. <laughs> or listen, you can reread, start over because uh, that encouraging word, I'm sure, uh, a re- repeat is worthy. Uh, it's worthy to be <laughs> be repeated. So you can you can keep it rolling. And uh, we have some comments on uh, Facebook. Thank you for listening, author Latanya Boyd. She said, I love um, that need to jump, um, to jump start our day with powerful affirmations that will make a difference in our lives. The positive word can change that stinking thinking. Yes, thank Amen. you so much. Amen. And so can we share, give a little bit of an appetizer to a little bit of what's in the book, any of the encouraging words that we could share with the uh, listeners today? Uh, let's see here. I probably can. All right. And listeners, you can go to Amazon uh, dot com. The do D E W the day's encouraging word. William J Bass, right there. If you're hanging out on Charvet dot com, uh, I've got the link, the direct link to Amazon right there. If you're hanging out on Facebook, hey, Facebook dot com slash Charvet. The post I shared has uh, the link uh, to Amazon, so those are easy, easy connection points. So go ahead and connect that way, uh, and that way you'll you'll be right on. It'll take you right on uh, to where you need to go, and it's available in paperback. Uh, and is it available in any other formats? I think you can get it point. on Kindle on Amazon also. Okay. So there you go, listeners. You have the paperback and the Kindle option uh, that you can get right there on Amazon. All right. Well, one of one of the um, affirmations is when you embrace the principle of stewardship, you recognize that Jesus wants to change your focus from merely making a living to making a difference. Wow. Making a difference. That's powerful. So your focus is not just on money, how much money, let me count my coins, all the expressions that we're saying these days. Um, but really, it takes the focus away from that, really. Right. You know, as, as one of the principles I teach is that God wants to bless us. You know, they said, you know, people say money is the root of all evil, but the scripture doesn't say that. It says, for the love of money is the root of, of all evil. And God is not against us having money, it's He's against us, the money having us. Meaning that all we go after is the money And we don't put God first and make him the center of our lives So here what I was saying was that You know, really, you know, as, as it relates to stewardship You know, Jesus wants to change our, our, our focus or our thinking From merely just uh, about how much money I can make It should be like, you know, with the money that I get Who can I bless? You know, how can I be a blessing to someone? And if we, you know, I've I, I tried to live by that creed, and, you know, and I, I don't really worry about the money. And I know we have to pay bills and stuff, so I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when we, when we live to, 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 to be a blessing, God will continually uh, give us a flow of more, so we can give more. Because if I don't give what I have in my hands, if my hand is full, and I don't open it and, and be a blessing to you, then. Uh, I won't be a blessing, but but I won't get any more because I haven't used what I have. So yes. you know, give God an opportunity yes. to replenish. So we need to give out what we have, and then He'll give us more so we can be a blessing. All right, and He gives seed to the sower. He always Amen. gives seed. 
to the sower. All right. And and sometimes that that seed or sometimes that blessing others could be your time. It could be a lot of different that stewardship piece could could be a lot of different things, right? That's right. Yeah, absolutely. Typically, you know, we when we talk about stewardship, we talk about the three Ps, the time, the talent, and the treasures. You know, but again, as far as the time, what are we doing with our time? You know, a lot of people think with stewardship, they always think of the treasures of the money, but stewardship of our time. What are we doing with our time? What What are we doing with our talent? You know, uh, God has blessed us to sing. Are we Are we giving uh, a tenth of that uh, singing talent to the church? You know, are, mm-hmm. are we singing in the choir, or or, or does the you know the pastors or the uh, choir director have to beg someone? To sing, who who God has gifted to sing, and just by that singing, you know you're 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 sharing the stewardship of your of your talent. Yeah, wow, and that's good. And see how, and someone might be saying, well, I'm tying that into encouragement because it helps your focus. So if you're oftentimes if you're discouraged, your your focus is off. So this is good because Pastor Jeff is getting you back. Focus. All right. So, can we share another another encouraging word? Sure. Uh, day twenty eight says the world views broken things as worthless, but God can take what's been broken and remake it into something better, beautiful, and something that He can use for His glory. Amen. 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 And I know everyone can attest to feeling broken at some point in life. Even if you got it all together now, there was some point, some some space and time um, where you you felt that way. Um, and so I, I think that's that's powerful. That's an, that is definitely encouraging. And to those that may you know may be listening and saying, well, how can God? You know, some people feel like, well, God can't use me, or I don't have what it takes you know for god to make me over what do you say to that person that's kind of struggling maybe listening and they don't feel like that's them that they fit into that well i'm, I'm glad you said it because as you were talking as it relates to to that particular passage there i mean unintentionally but that's just how god is he you know he he his his thoughts are greater than our thoughts his ways great our ways. but that speaks to me personally and i'm sure there's thousands of other people that that speaks to because when he talks about broken when he says about the broken things ironically uh i got saved in 1987 and uh i was going through a lot of stuff and uh, my life was a mess and uh someone had invited me to a uh, i was living in alabama in mobile mm-hmm. and someone had invited me to a revival i don't know here you know millennials and a lot of people they don't even probably know what revival is called Old school, we used to have revivals every summer down south. But anyway, uh-huh. it would be like, a, a, for, for those that don't know, a revival is typically a week-long service that they, they would have at night, Monday through Friday, at, at church. So this young lady invited me, hey, we're having a revival. Could, could you come? I said, yeah, yeah, sure. You know, somewhat sarcastically knowing in my mind, say, I'm not going to go to that. If I do go, it would be like one night, Friday night, I'd just go for a minute and pop out. You know, go to the club after that, you know, and stuff. Uh-huh. So, but God God had had a different plan because as I was driving home that day, that, that night, I heard some sirens in the distance. And, uh, but, the, but I, you know, so I was driving home and then my car started to shake. Long story short, I pulled over to a gas station. It was a self serve gas station at the time. I said, check my hood and they checked it. It said, nothing wrong with your car. But, so I get back on the highway and, uh, those sirens that I heard, uh, there was a car that was in front of me that God reminded me, you were behind this car. And as I pulled up, the ambulance was already there and then the EMT and everything. And there was uh, glass everywhere. And there, there had been an accident. And I was right behind it. I would, if I wouldn't have gotten off the road, I probably would have been a part of that accident. And there was glass and, and, and broken. And everything was broken. And via the yeah. Holy Spirit, he said, you better go to church tonight. So Fast forward, I go to church. I'm sitting there chewing gum, not want to be there. I'm in route, I, I, I keep hearing this old old song in my head that they, they used to sing back in church, the old ship of Zion and stuff. So I get there, the pastor preaches. I'm sitting in the middle of, 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 the, of the church, just, just waiting for it to be over. And so finally he gives the altar call, and he says, there's someone here 
you know, who, who, who's got a broken heart and a broken life. And, you know, oh, wow. you need to come on up and we're going to wait for you to come up. And, and, and so I'm like rocking in my seat because I feel like he's talking to me. And finally, he says, uh, the choir is going to sing this song. And, of course, they sang Old Ship of Zion that I had been hearing in my head going to church. So with my head bobbed and tears and crying, I go up and I gave my life to Christ. And, uh, you know, and I told him, I said, you know, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm broken, you know, and, you know, and, and I just feel like, you know, I just need help. So my yeah. point is God can use broken, but God won't, he, you know, he specializes in, in restoring and restoration, people who are broken. There's a lot of people out there who probably think, you know, hey, my life is a mess. God can never use me. I just want to encourage you. Those are the people, God, God wants everybody, but those are the, those are the, Brian Cannon, the guy who wants to who wants to speak to it, says, "Hey, I I know what you were doing when you were doing it. I didn't want you to do it, but still, I still love you, and I can restore you and put you back together even better than before. So that's that's what that's about, you know. Wonderful. Listen, that that's what we call a, the voice of experience. V O E, the voice of experience. That's something um, you live through and able to 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 translate that." Uh, and, and just everyday language so we can we can all get it. We all got it. All right. Uh, Pastor Jeff, tell uh, listeners how they can get a hold of your book and then how they can connect with you online and all that good stuff. Well, uh, they can get the book. I, mean, I think you did a fantastic job of, of, of sharing where they can get it. Of course, they can go to Amazon.com uh, and just uh, type in, you know, keywords, uh, day, uh, the day's encouraging words. Or, or probably keywords William J or William Jeffrey Bass, Bass like the fish, B A S S. Or you can, uh, if you don't want to get it on Amazon, it's also on Barnes. Uh, you can get it at Barnes and Noble. Just type in the keyword, and those are the two two places right now. Uh, you know that they can get it. Uh, if, if they didn't want to do that, I mean, if you want, if you want a copy autograph or some people have asked me to do that i mean i'm not some big person or whatever but but i, but I don't mind doing that you know if you want to put a little, little inspiring word in there you can reach me at um uh, ww uh well do you want the email address on the uh sure. on the website well, the we email can give them both P-S- okay my email is p as in peter the word triple is t-r-i-p-l-e-c as in charles at aol.com that's triple C at AOL.com or uh, if you want to go to our website it's uh, www.myrivercc like Charles Charles www.myrivercc.org all right there you have it and so great segue because I certainly uh, don't want to leave out um, you giving us uh, talking a little bit about um, River Christian Center. So tell us location, service times, all that good stuff. Well, the River uh, the River Christian Center. Uh, I've been pastoring it now for three years. Uh, we're in Manassas, Virginia. Um, uh, uh, currently, we're meeting at uh, one zero. I think it's one zero five six five Lamond L O M O N D. Uh, dry that's in Manassas, Virginia, but you can find all that out on the website. Uh, our, our service time is 1030. We don't keep you all day. You know, we're mindful of the time, but we allow the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. to move. So, uh, and, and you don't have to wear a suit. I mean, you know, you can dress casual. If you want to wear a suit, suit down, a suit up. I mean, you can do that too. Just come as you are. You know, and uh, we're non non-denominational word teaching church. We do believe you know, in teaching the word of God, because it is always say it's not the word according to Pastor Jeff, it's what thus saith the Lord. So, you know, we try to teach the word with simplicity and clarity. And, uh, you Amen. know, you're welcome to come. And we would love for you. We would love to to, uh, to see you, you know, this Sunday and each and every Sunday. And we greet you with a smile. And, you know, uh, one dip is worth the trip. All right, there you go. Personal <laughs> invitation, and certainly uh, in ministry and uh, loving family, uh, wife and son. Uh, so I, I want to shout them out as well because I, I know they are uh, all a part of helping you through all of this, and probably had to you know help you stay awake so you could write some of the chapters and <laughs> help you get things together sure with did. the book. So we want to we want to shout them out as well. 
so they the goal You're of my show, right. yes, they did. <laughs> absolutely. And the goal of our show is to motivate, excite, and influence, and we want to know what continues to motivate you. Uh, just, well, several things, but I, I guess, you know, to, you know to, to win souls to the kingdom, um, teaching motivates me. Uh, I think, you know, uh, the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge, and uh, I love teaching the word of God and, and and seeing people grow in 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 the word of God and that motiv- motivates me to continue to you know shepherd the flock or, you know to continue to uh teach you know to teach people the word of God like I said basically with clarity and simplicity you know I'm 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 a simple guy but I'm also transparent and mm. uh, I, I I think when people you know that catchphrase being real but I, but I look at it as being transparent. I mean, I don't, I'm, you know, I don't try to put myself on a pedestal or anything like that. I I just try to keep keep it real from the perspective of, hey, uh, we've all seen it come short of the glory of God. But 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 as long as we're we're open and, and we're repentant, God will use anybody. You know, He's just looking for a willing vessel, and I consider myself to be a willing vessel used by God to uh, you know to help grow the kingdom of God. Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. Well said. Well said. Well, thank you so much for uh, taking a few minutes out of your schedule to stop by uh, so we can hear uh, about you, hear from your heart. And we just wish you much more continued success with this book and ministry and the book that is on the way in the spring. Amen. Well, thank you so much for, for uh, allowing me the time and opportunity to share on your great show, Charvette, and I, and I just pray many uh, continued blessings upon you from the Lord. Amen. I receive it. Thank you so much. <laughs> All Amen. right, God I bless. receive it. Amen. Thank you. All right, listeners, we're going to take a, a quick commercial break, a quick commercial break, and then we're going to be back with our second segment. Uh, my guest is hanging out in the virtual green room. We're going to be back talking to Nicole Smith. Nicole Smith is joining us. Listen, there is an event that's coming. You have to hear about it. The pink carpet hit the runway, uh, and it is an amazing event, a fashion show that's going to showcase 10 breast cancer survivors, uh, beauty and strength and courage and how they're fighting and defying the odds and overcoming breast cancer. Proceeds are going to benefit the American Cancer Society. And so Nicole Smith is here to tell you all about it and all that good stuff. So we're going to go to a quick commercial break. Don't you move. We'll be right back. It's the Charvet Mitchell Radio Show. Charvet will be back after this. Hello. We are 123jobzone.com, an online job search portal. We are user-friendly, and if you're searching for a job, with us, it's easy as 123. Step 1. Go to www.123jobzone.com and register as a job seeker. Step 2. Once registered, upload your resumes. Step 3. Get connected with employers looking for people like you who are ready and willing to work. Don't forget to follow 123jobzone on Twitter and Facebook to find out more about our upcoming job fairs. What are you waiting for? Stop by 123jobzone.com today. Good luck with your job search. Spiritual Food for Thought. 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day by LaTanya Boyd consists of inspirational messages that offer daily words of empowerment, promote spiritual growth, and development in the Lord Jesus Christ for your day-to-day living. Spiritual Food for Thought, 31 inspirational quotes to jumpstart your day. Available now on Kindle, ebook, and paperback. Log on to www.letiboyd.com. IndustryBuzzWith3Gs.com. Join in today on the movement to bring integrity back to media. With one click of a button, you can disseminate your information right from Industry Buzz to all your favorite social sites like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and to your email contact. Maximize your vision today. Plus, get the latest news, entertainment, and media. Need fashion or makeup tips? Looking for a job? Connect with us today. Want to connect with other business visionaries? Connect with us today. This site is for everyone, from teens to music lovers, from businessmen and women, industry professionals and performers. 
consumer. As a member of Industry Buzz with 3Z, you'll gain help promoting your vision. Industry Buzz with 3Zs will expose, expand, and keep your fan base up to date with all your happening. Members also receive free or discounted perks from various sponsored companies. So join the social network, expand, and stabilize your business. Connect with like-minded individuals. Need an artist to minister at your upcoming event? Look on Industry Buzz. Have a voice and submit your article to our e-magazine. Industry Buzz with 3Zs is the place to globalize your vision. Establish it today. Be heard. It's all on Industry Buzz with 3Zs.com. Does your church or ministry have a website? Are you a local artist or author that has an established web presence? If you answer no to any of these questions, you're letting countless opportunities pass you by. Hi, I'm Charvette Mitchell. Mitchell Productions was created with your needs in mind. We will provide you with stylish and economical online marketing solutions. From email marketing to your own website, Mitchell Productions caters to ministries, nonprofits, small businesses, and special events. Check out our portfolio at Mitchell-Productions.com. In today's world, a website is not a luxury, it's a necessity. And Mitchell Productions can create your website in a stylish manner at a very economical price. Don't let business, customers, or new congregation members pass you by. Visit Mitchell Productions today at www.Mitchell-Productions.com. Let us showcase your organization to the world. Introducing contemporary gospel artist Diani with a new hit debut single titled The Blood on Remail Records. Oh, they slay me, crucify me. I have been washed in the blood I'm reading. Purchase Diani's new hit single on iTunes, Amazon in February. Once again, be sure to check out contemporary gospel artist Diani with the new hit debut single title, The Blood, on Remir Records. Follow Diani on Twitter, Facebook, by going online to dianimusic.com. That's spelled D-E-O-N-I-M-U-S-I-C.com. That's dianimusic.com. She's here to motivate, excite, and influence you. She's Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Mitchell. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with in-depth interviews from today's leading authors, gospel artists, stars that you want to know about. And now, Charvette Mitchell. All right, welcome back, welcome back again to the Star Vet Mitchell Radio Show. So excited to have all those that are tuning in, listening in, hanging out in the chat room, on the phone lines, uh, listening in from Charvet.com, from Twitter, from Facebook, and all of our broadcast stations. We say hello and thanks so much. We are moving right on into our next segment. I do want to uh, give a big shout out. Um, and a, a big plug right here uh, as a part of our commercials. I do have a four-week group coaching program that's coming up for entrepreneurs and how to use Facebook to attract more clients, uh, sell more books, uh, sell more products and services, get more speaking engagements, and build your brand. Four-week course, live webinar. So go to joincharvette.com. Join Charvette.com and you can sign up there. Uh, we start October 6th. We start October 6th on joincharvette.com. So just jump right over there. All right, so we're moving right in. And I'm bringing my guest up to the mic right now. Nicole Smith is here joining me. Hello, you're live Hi. on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Thank Show. You. Hey. Hey, girl. Thanks hey, how are you? I am well, thanks. And yourself? Awesome. I am doing an Awesome. I am doing awesome. I have a awesome day uh, ahead of me, an awesome day behind me, so I cannot complain. Absolutely. So I am excited to hear about all of the things that you have uh, going on. Okay. And so tell tell our listeners a little bit about your organization and how you came um, to, to be the founder of it and, and the creator of it. Okay, so... Um So Pink Expressions was birthed due to the fact that we lost our mother um, two years ago to breast cancer. And as a way to honor her memory, I proposed the idea to my sisters. I was like, hey, uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and it's also our mother's birthday. She would have been celebrating her birthday October the 30th. So I was Mm -hmm. like, well, what better way could we pay um, homage to her in her memory than to host a pink carpet hit-the-runway event? 
Um, I used to do some modeling, and she used to be so excited when she saw my pictures and things. So I was like, oh. okay, um, let's tie the two together and see what we could do. Um, again, this is the first time that it's been done within the community, and we just wanted to bring a different feel to the community and just do something fun in her memory and the response that we got regarding the event has been amazing. Um, as you may mention earlier, we do have some survivors that will be showcased, and they are really excited and supportive and just so excited to be a part of something that basically was birthed just from merely talking, having a conversation with my sister. So that's how I... Um, came up with Pink Expressions Define the Odds. Um, again, not only did my mom have breast cancer, she also was diagnosed with having a brain aneurysm back in 2013. And um, she came out of the surgery with, with flying colors. So I just wanted to make sure that people understood, even though you have been diagnosed with this disease, it does not mean that it's the end for you. Um, she clearly defied the odds because that brain aneurysm that she had back in December, that should have been the end of her story. But it wasn't. My so God saw fit to allow her another couple of months to be here with us. So that's how Pink Expressions were, was birthed. Wow. Well, let me commend you and your sisters for, you know, channeling your energy in a way, uh, you know, to say, okay, I want to do something to bring awareness to this and for my mom's legacy to continue on and, and her legacy to be to be proud um, and all of that versus maybe kind of saying, you know what, I'm just, I don't, I don't want to deal with it this way. I'm just going to, you know, tuck my tail and kind of go off to the side and just, you know, go on with my life. So, because that's definitely an option and a choice you could have taken. And I like that definitely. analogy. Yes, definitely. I like that analogy because, you know, we can't bring we can't bring anybody back. So you're either gonna wallow in pity, or you're just gonna, as you may mention, keep moving forward. Let's try to remember her legacy and what she stood for. And I think um, with Pink Expressions, it clearly showing people that again, even though the diagnosis, because it's such a dark disease, it, it, anybody mm -hmm. can attest, it just has so many impacts on a family. Like, again, when she was diagnosed, my sisters and I, we were like, what in the world are we going to do? I know quite, I had all kind of questions, like, right. how long does she have? Is she Because you, you read about women losing their hair and their bodies changing and they can't hold down food and things of that nature. So, again, it's just a lot of questions, unanswered questions sometimes that runs through your mind. And then you have to sit back and be like, okay, let's take a breather. We just got to figure it out. We got to get educated. And um, basically, I wanted to share, and this is how I wanted to share her story. I could not let her legacy die and yeah. continue to be miserable, unhappy, and sad all the time. So this is my way of dealing with her loss. Well, well said, and we definitely commend you commend you for that and you have jumped in um, both feet jumped in the water and so let's talk about um, the event pink carpet hey. not red carpet <laughs> y'all pink carpet <laughs> hit the runway so first let's let's talk about when is it where is it mm -hmm. and then we'll get into what's going to be going on Okay, thank you. So the pink carpet event is actually, again, is going to showcase 10 um, beautiful breast cancer survivors. Um, we decided to go with pink carpet because, of course, it's October is breast cancer awareness. So um, it's actually going to be held October 29th at Woodland Academy um, School. And the address is actually 2000. Um, let me get that for you. Um, the address is actually 2000, 2054 Nina Road, and that's in Mount Ross, Virginia. Um, 22520 is the address. Um, ticket prices will be $15 for adults, $750 for children ages 15 to 17, and children um, 4 and under are free. 
And the doors is going to be open at 430. And the social interaction piece is going to take place anywhere between 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And we're also going to have a guest speaker come and talk to us and educate us a little bit about a program that our local hospital has in place at Riverside. And then we're going to transition from the speaker to the fashion Mm -hmm. show where these women are so excited um, to be a part of Hit the Runway. Whoa, and I know they are going to rip the runway. Now, you chose to have this in your community, and talk a little bit about the community that this is going to be you know, held in. Sure. So the community that it's going to be held in is actually um, where my mom lived, and actually when I did um, some research, I, it was known that the Westmoreland County area itself, because we are in the northern neck, Um, But Westmoreland County alone has the highest breast cancer rate in the state of Virginia. So I Mm. thought that it was very important that we start there, get the education piece, and if we could get some buy-in as far as the pink carpet event and get the momentum, then potentially we could take it to the other local communities. Again, my vision, my mission is, is basically taking care of the local community first. I know that, um, you know, we have American Cancer Society, and I do appreciate all their efforts. Um, But, again, I would like to start with any proceeds or my organization, start with the local communities first and making sure that the women, men, whoever are diagnosed with this disease have the necessary resources that they need locally in order to treat this disease. All right. There you go. Northern Neck. We are shouting you out, and that's Virginia, for those that are listening that may be somewhere else in the world. Uh, We are talking about the beautiful state of Virginia, Northern Neck communities there. Uh, Pink Expressions Defying the Odds presents Pink Carpet Hit the Runway. Now, how can they purchase tickets? So we um, we don't have ticket prices set up online, so you can contact me um, at, I can give you a telephone number, 804 296-4282 Two nine six four two eight two, or by email at pinkcarpetrunway at yahoo.com. Um, we also do have um, local community areas that actually has tickets that are selling tickets. So, um, again, I'm the point of contact. I do have some of my sisters that are out there selling tickets as well. But if you really need a ticket and want a ticket, please feel free to give me a call um, anytime. I'm available if you want to email me, that would be great also. And, again, my contact number is 804-296-4282. Or you can email me at pinkcarpetrunway at yahoo.com. Oh, right. And they can actually go to your website as well. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> I do have a website, oh. yes. Great. And let me know what your web address is. Yeah, w- there you go. There you go. W- dot pink dot org all right so you also have um you know not only will they be involved in you know all of the great activity and event that you have but you also have some raffles so you're yes. you all are going to be raffling three baskets away at the event and the tickets are one dollar kind of let's whet the appetite of the listeners uh so they can get a basket what kind of things could they potentially win Sure. So the baskets will consist of different types of breast cancer awareness, um, apparel, um, wristbands, mugs, and you can also, some lucky listener will be able to, if they purchase a ticket, will be able to get some of the pink expressions to find the odds apparel. So um, it's going to be worth your while to really um, come out and just support us and see what we have to offer and also get a chance to win a basket, a really nice basket. So, There you go. There you go. We are enticing you guys today uh, again. <laughs> so if you're, if you're just tuning in, hey there, we see some of you that are coming in on the line. Uh, we're talking about Pink Carpet Hit uh, the Runway. It's going to be Saturday, October 29th, Saturday, October 29th, uh, Woodland Academy. That's in Montrose, Virginia. And uh, so you definitely want to uh, be a part of that. And you can actually, uh, if you're on Facebook and you're listening from Facebook, just jump over to uh, Pink Expressions and like their page. I've tagged them in the post. 
so go ahead and do that and just like uh you know like the page there and and uh and go from go from there and so tell us a little bit about some of the survivors that are going to be participating um you know as models and and so tell us a little bit about them Sure. So if you go to my website, you'll actually see some of the pictures of the models, too. So, um, but yeah, so we have a a variety of ages. Um, A lot of a lot of my survivors are older women, um, but their spirit and just their energy has just been so encouraging and supportive. And um, honestly, it's been a humbling experience because I have had interactions with each of my survivors and presenting buy-in to see if they would be willing to be showcased. Again, this is their story. And surprisingly, with the response of just putting it out there, we did narrow it down to 10 lucky survivors, um, and they have been amazing um, just sharing their story and just giving me a little bit of insight into their journey as well as me providing the insight as far as my and my sister's journey. Um, It has just been so amazing and overwhelming, and I'm just humbled and truly grateful for just meeting these women because it's not only I, I feel like I'm obligated to make sure that they have a very, very successful event, um, a nice event, um, and it's all about them, like we're going to have makeup for them. Um, I do have, um, I want to shout out um, Wendy, um, she's actually going to provide me with some shoes and donations as far as apparel um, that the ladies, some of the ladies, if they choose to wear her stuff, then um, there'll be more, she'll have bring her stuff along, so it's it's very, very, going to be a very nice event for these women. And, again, it's not just about the fashion show itself. It's about the education piece as well. So we want to make sure that everybody that comes just have a really good time, enjoy it, and we just want to make sure that these women are supported at the end of the day because that's what it's about. It's about support and showing love to these women because, honest and truly, we couldn't put on a or host a pink carpet event if we didn't have the participants or the survivors that are willing to share their stories. Yeah. So I think it's very, very important that, you know, these women get that love and support, and I'm here to make sure that that happens. And what is so powerful, I, I jumped over to pinkexpressions.org, pinkexpressions.org, and the model page, you know, meet the model. What is so powerful is that you have the di- their picture and then you have their diagnosis date and mm-hmm. it, their remission date. And so anyone that is facing or or has been diagnosed or knows someone you need to send them to this page there's one one of the models who who had was diagnosed in 1984 she's been in remission for 32 years miss mary absolutely. williams absolutely there's, yes you know 8 years so that is in that is powerful that is in that is so powerful so um make sure you go to pinkexpressions.org if nothing else, to see the beautiful models and just how um, powerful that is, 17 years of remission um, for some, and just to see the models. And so that, that what an honor that is. So tell us about your sisters. I don't want to leave, you know, all mm-hmm. of yours because you have a, a, a big family. So tell us about all yeah. of your sisters. Yes, yeah, so we have six sisters. Um, we all vary are, are very close in age. Um, my oldest sister is actually retired military. Um, she also um, lives in Kentucky, and then um, my next to the oldest sister, her name is Carol, and my oldest sister's name is Annette, excuse me, Annette Grace. My second oldest sister is um, Carolyn Ball. Uh, she actually was the driving force, making sure that my mom got back and forth to her doctor's appointments, making sure that we were kept in the loop of any type of um, changes with her, with her um, condition. My next to the oldest, mm-hmm. that sister is Barbara Lane. She actually um, Tappahannock. She lives in the Tappahannock area. And then my sister um, Mary Tate. She actually too lives in Tappahannock. Um, then it's Amy. Amy's actually um, she actually lived with my mom. And then myself, Tappahannock, and my my baby sister Rita. She also lived with my mom as well. So. 
we are the family that's defying the odds here. So Define the odds. And yes. listen, with six girls, your mom was defying the odds all from the time yes. she popped the first one out into yes. all of y'all. So she lived a life of defying the odds. I mean, six girls in one house. Yes. Lord, have mercy. Yes. Uh, so yes. bless, bless all of you. You know, and that's Thank that's you. good that you all are able to support each other. And um, and I know everyone is is doing something in some capacity uh, during and for the event as well. I'm sure it's all hands on deck, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, from the kitchen committee to the raffle committee, um, to making sure that the models are are well put, to making sure that um, the, the uh, Miranda books get sold so everybody the meet and greeters so you know we all have um our specific um role our specific lane that we're you know dedicated and focused on so uh, it has been it has been truly been an amazing journey i wouldn't trade anything for it um of course when you're trying to coordinate and put an event such as this together it's you're gonna you're gonna have some struggles, but the, <laughs> the, but I will say that it, it was totally worth it. And just at the end of the day, to see these women so excited and happy, um, it's just been it's just been truly humbling and amazing. And I thank God for the vision. Absolutely. Thank God for the vision. And so um, you alluded to, you know, you've, you've had some modeling experience. You also alluded to uh, some T-shirts that will be available for the event. Um, but I know you're working on a little something for yourself coming down the road, around the corner, right? Can I say that? <laughs> or can I not say it? Or have yeah. I already said it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, eventually trying to work towards um, becoming a nonprofit again um, and then to just getting um, a little better at social media savvy, you know, working closely uh, to make sure that I, we brand pink expressions um, yeah. in such a way where people know us. So, again, um, as we put on this event for the first time, you know, it's not going to be the last time you hear or see pink expressions. So, um, again, it's all about next steps, branding, and potentially becoming that um, nonprofit organization where we can actually um, be recognized for the great things that we are going to do. All right, there you go. So be on the lookout, and you can say you heard it about it first here on the Charvet Mitchell Radio Show. That's what we that's what we like to do here. All right, all right. So one more time, because we've got people, uh, I see people still coming in, uh, listening in. Uh, give them, let's give them the whole rundown again. Uh, for those that may be just joining us, we see you. Hey there. Um, the who, what, when, where, and all of that of what's coming up. Okay, so on October 29th, Pink Expressions presents Pink Carpet hit the runway, and we will be showcasing um, breast cancer survivors that have been impacted by the disease. Um, The venue is Woodland Academy. Address is 2054, and that's Nina Road, and that's in Mount Tross, Virginia, 22520. And for those that may not know, Mount Tross is actually in the Northern Neck area, so it's down um, from Tappahannock and Warsaw. Ticket price okay, so how far is that from, like, Richmond? Um, it's, like, 45 minutes, depending on okay. the specific, where you are in Richmond, so roughly about 45 minutes okay, to Tappahannock, and then you'd have to put, so that's from Tappahannock, but then you have to put, I guess, maybe another 20 minutes to your drive to get to Mount Tross. Got it. Okay. So, there you go. Roughly, probably about an hour. Okay, um, so playing for an hour, and just jump an in your hour, car and yeah. do what you do. Y'all drive anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> that is, it's oh, worth it. One. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be an amazing event. The ticket prices are $15 for adults, seven fifty for children ages um, 5 to 17, and children 4 and under are free. The doors will be open at 430. The social engagement, we will have light refreshments. I don't think I said that, but we will have light refreshments and um, raffle drawings. So you can you have a potential to win a nice gift basket. So that will take place from 5 
to 6.30 p.m., and then we will transition from there to our speaker for the evening, and then we will transition to the actual fashion show. Um, contact information for tickets, Nicole Smith, and you can reach me at 804-296-4282 or by email at pinkcarpetrunway at yahoo.com. All right, there you have all the details right there. Uh, big shout-out coming in from Facebook. Author Latanya Boyd said, wow, great way to pay tribute um, to your mom's legacy and also thank bring you. about awareness. So, thank yes, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. We agree. All right, so the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence. And my last question for you is, what continues to motivate you? What continues to motivate me is the desire to pay it forward. Um, again, mm-hmm. I've seen how other people, and shout out to you, Charvette. I'm, I'm just going to use it as, as an example. I just see how you are so influential in especially African American women's lives. So that's the type of stuff that I want to do. I want to help the next person that potentially has a vision and don't know how to get it started um, to just give them some insight and share what I have learned. And, again, I tie that I tie that back to strong women as yourself that are willing to give us women that's trying to start <laughs> our business or organizations an opportunity to share in what we're doing and allowing the platform because it's all about getting the word advertising and just having a platform where we can actually voice what we're trying to do. So shout out to you, Charvette. So that's oh, what motivates me is paying it forward. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the shout out. I didn't expect that. Thank you so yes, much. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we uh, certainly just wish you much uh, continued success, you and your sisters, the whole entire event, the whole Northern Neck area, and just glad we had a chance to spotlight you here on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Thank you. All right, listeners, um, we have a quick commercial break, and then we are going to be back uh, with our third segment for today. We have uh, Miss Bertha L. St. John joining us. Listen, she has a brand new book out, Turned Upside Down. That's the title of it. Uh, she's an author. She's an educator. She's a consultant and a businesswoman. And this book is about transformation. Uh, and so you want to be in on this. So we're going to go take a quick commercial break, and then we're going to be back uh, with uh, our last segment for the today featuring uh, author Bertha L. St. John. Don't you move. We're going to be right back. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Charvette will be back after this. Are you starting a new business, releasing a CD, writing a new book? Consider Mitchell Productions for your web design services. Visit www.mitchell-productions.com for portfolio samples, specials, and package prices. Remember, a website is not a luxury item. It's a necessity. Check out mitchell-productions.com or find them at facebook.com slash mitchellproductions. IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. Join in today on the movement to bring integrity back to media. With one click of a button, you can disseminate your information right from IndustryBuzz to all your favorite social sites like Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and to your email contact. Maximize your vision today. Plus, get the latest news, entertainment, and media. Need fashion or makeup tips? Looking for a job? Connect with us today. Want to connect with other business visionaries? Connect with us today. This site is for everyone, from teens to music lovers, from businessmen and women, industry professionals and performers. As a member of Industry Buzz with 3Z, you'll gain help promoting your vision. Industry Buzz with 3Zs will expose, expand, and keep your fan base up to date with all your happening. Members also receive free or discounted perks from various sponsored companies. So join the social network. Expand and stabilize your business. Connect with like-minded individuals. Need an artist to minister at your upcoming event? Look on Industry Buzz. Have a voice and submit your article to our e-magazine. Industry Buzz with 3Zs is the place to globalize your vision. Establish it today. Be heard. It's all on IndustryBuzzWith3Zs.com. 
Does your church or ministry have a website? Are you a local artist or author that has an established web presence? If you answer no to any of these questions, you're letting countless opportunities pass you by. Hi, I'm Charvette Mitchell. Mitchell Productions was created with your needs in mind. We will provide you with stylish and economical online marketing solutions. From email marketing to your own website, Mitchell Productions caters to ministries, nonprofits, small businesses, and special events. Check out our portfolio at Mitchell-Productions.com. In today's world, a website is not a luxury, it's a necessity. And Mitchell Productions can create your website in a stylish manner at a very economical price. Don't let business, customers, or new congregation members pass you by. Visit Mitchell Productions today at www.Mitchell-Productions.com. Let us showcase your organization to the world. Diabetes is a killer. After I was diagnosed, I didn't feel sick, so I didn't listen to my doctor. Then it struck. I had a heart attack, then a stroke, and I was only 49. Two out of three people with diabetes die from heart disease or stroke. Call 1-800-DIABETES for your free diabetes survival guide. Choose to live. It's not too late. Don't let diabetes destroy your life. A message from the American Diabetes Association and the American College of Cardiology. She's here to motivate, excite, and influence you. She's Charvette Mitchell. Charvette Charvette Mitchell. Mitchell. It's the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show with in-depth interviews from today's leading authors, gospel artists, stars that you want to know about. And now, Charvette Mitchell. All right. Hello, hello, hello again. Welcome back to all those that are hanging out with me here on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. So listen, I have to tell you, and let you know about an event that I have coming up uh, here in the capital city of Richmond, uh, Virginia. Yep, yep, yep. I want you to put it on your calendar, December 10th. December 10th, I am putting on a pop-up workshop. Yep, we call it pop-up. Pop-up workshop for female entrepreneurs or females that want to be entrepreneurs. It's going to be Saturday, December 10th. Here in Richmond, Virginia, the location is the Hyatt House Hotel right over at Short Pump Town Center. If you are uh, in the city or familiar, Short Pump is a beautiful uh, location, open-air mall, over 6,000 square feet of retail shopping, restaurants. The Hyatt House is right there. Like literally you walk outside the front door of the Hyatt House and you take 10 steps and you're shopping. So you're right there. Um, but join us if you are an entrepreneur, female entrepreneur, or you want to be. Uh, you want to be in a room where people are where you want to go. You know, you iron sharpens iron. And so I invite you to be my guest uh at this event, uh, December 10th, Saturday, December 10th. Listen, I, I got to tell you really quickly some of the dynamic powerhouse women that I have pulled together that are going to be joining us on that Saturday, Saturday, December 10th. We have Antoinette Essa joining us. She is an anchor and reporter with WTVR CBS 6 here in Richmond, Virginia. She also has past radio experience and a lot of other media experience. She's going to be here. We have Tashina Davis. She is coming all the way from Maryland. She's a senior publisher of Purposely Created Publishing Group. She has clients such as Kim Coles from Living Single. Uh, yeah, 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 that caliber of person. We have Latanya Boyd coming from New York, New York. Can y'all, can somebody say stand up, New York, stand up. She is a marketing coach. She is a social media specialist. She's a publicist. She's an online marketing strategist uh, focusing on authors, but she can help anybody and everybody that's promoting. We have Liz Thompson right here from Richmond, Virginia. She's a food blogger, also a social media strategist, and she started the Virginia Bloggers uh, Network, which has over 500 bloggers in it now. And she can talk about how she got big brands to uh, advertise on her blog. So you're going to want to hear from her. Tony Winston, you're going to want to hear from Tony Winston. She's a lifestyle and resource coach. 
She actually was featured on Dr. Oz show and wrote on his blog. You can actually go to the Dr. Oz website and search Tony Winston and find her blog articles. We have Sharon Oliver uh, from Richmond, Virginia. She's the publisher of CEO Magazine, and they're still doing print magazine, beautiful magazines. You know what? You don't find that a lot these days. A lot of people are doing things online. We have Jamila Joy coming from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, She's a chief idea officer. She has uh, she's a Stella Award winner. She was the first one to win a Stella Award for Internet Radio. Uh, We have Sandra Weeks coming from Brooklyn, New York. She's a research information specialist. And then Tyshana Pritchett right here from Richmond, Virginia, uh, just celebrating 20 years of entrepreneurship. She's a hair care specialist and encouragement coach. Listen, and if you're a hairstylist in Richmond, Virginia. Virginia, she is hiring. Uh, so check it out. So go to HeyGirlHey.biz, HeyGirlHey.biz uh, to find out uh, information and to register, number one. Number two, if you're coming from out of town, book your hotel. You need to book that before October 22nd. And then December 10th, plan to be with us here in the capital city of Richmond, Virginia. Plan to be with us here. This is my personal invitation to you. Yep, I am personally uh, asking you to come. So listen, we're going to jump, jump into a quick music segment. Uh, we're going to jump into a quick music segment, segment. This is called Testimony by Monica, and then we'll be back with our last segment. <laughs> She's a consultant, a business owner. She's a licensed minister. She's an intercessor and a kindergarten teacher at Word of Restoration International Church. Brand new book out called Turned Upside Down, My Testimony of Transformation. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, coming up to the mic right now, we have Bertha joining us. Thank you so much for uh, being on the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Good evening, Charvette. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, It's an honor to be your guest today, and I'm so thankful to God for this opportunity, and I'm thankful to Coach Latanya Bart of Faith Believers Fab Tours for connecting us today. Absolutely. Shout her out as well. Absolutely. And so let's let's jump in and uh, new book out. 
old, but certainly I have listed all of the things that you you do. Uh, yes. Did you always know that you would write a book? Um, no, I didn't always know that I was going to write a book, but I love to write. I started journaling, writing down um, things, goals, and um, I work with children, and so I thought, well, maybe... I, I, maybe one day I might write for kids, but never uh-huh. write my own book about my own testimony. And here, here we are. Here mm-hmm. we are with this book. And so this book is uh, a test, a really a testimony, and um, it, it goes through certain, uh, you know, incidences um, through your life. And let's talk a little bit. We won't give it all away, but how does the book open up? Uh, the book begins with. Uh, it's introduced with. I talk about my roots, my family my parents, um, Dorothy and Freddie, and they were two young people who met uh, when they were just teenagers, and they loved each other, and so they mm-hmm. they got married, and uh, they had, we well, I have, uh, they had four children, myself and three brothers, and my father encouraged and my father was encouraged by his dad to love my mother and to to marry her and to the, be the best husband that he could be and so we were in the second uh phase of the book we I talk about where I was born I was born on Brown Street in a little se- se- town se- uh, segregated town in um, Texas, a rural town in Texas, we lived in a three-room house that my grandfather built for my dad Mm -hmm. and my mom. It was on cinder blocks. We did not have indoor restrooms. We lived in poverty. So we were born in, I was born into poverty. But I learned that I did not have to stay in poverty. Amen. So um, the story is about how I moved from being a victim to being victorious and how God intervened in my life and how I moved from being a fearful person into being a courageous person person. It tells about how I moved from being, from feeling as though I was ugly into believing and knowing that I was beautiful because I was created in the image and likeness of God. And it talks about how I moved from uh, being defeated and how uh, God intervened and caused me to become victorious and triumphant. Amen. The tr- the transformation actually began when um, I was attending a prayer conference given by Bishop Dorothy Washington, the late Bishop Dorothy Washington. It was held, I never will forget, on uh, at the Hilton Hotel uh, on the off of 59 uh, Freeway here in Houston. And there was a prophetess there by the name of Dr. Jean Perez. And after she had ministered, she began to look out into the audience. And she pointed her finger at me and she said to me, God is going to turn your life upside down and it will never be the same again. And he has called you into the ministry. And just as she said, this was in uh, oct- late October, November, right in right in 1990. In 1991, first the first Sunday in January of 1991, I uh, changed churches. I was uh, going to a Baptist church, and now I changed to a non-denominational church. I was um, driving a gray. And I changed vehicles. I changed from a great uh, Mustang with the manual windows 
to a sedan DeVille white Cadillac with red interior. I changed beautician. I changed uh, jobs. (laughs) I changed um, the change took place in what I wore, how I dressed, and how I. And then God, in during the night season, while I was um, sleeping, God began to minister. The Holy Spirit began to minister to me. Uh, and then the change was taking place on the inside. And so I was learning that I was in a war. There are times when we, we, we were, at that time, there was the Vietnam mm-hmm. War going on. Mm-hmm. And uh, just like the soldiers have to go into battle and they have to dress in their fatigues and they have to be taught how to fight the enemy, God, the Holy Spirit, was teaching me how to fight the enemy. And I can remember different incidents where I would uh, be, I would lay down to go to sleep and I remember something trying to attack me and in my dream there was a stick, and I was trying to grab the stick and hit this thing with it. But the Holy Spirit gently tugged at me and kind of laughed a little bit and said, the weapons of your warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty right. through God, and they pull down strongholds and cast down imaginations and every high thing that would try to exalt itself against the knowledge of God. So I was learning that this was, there were two kingdoms. There was a kingdom of darkness and a kingdom of light. And so yeah. there was a war going on, and I had to learn how to fight against this, the darkness that was trying to come against me. And then yeah. I learned how to, so I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. I'm I'm just okay. listening. It's like, um, just it's very powerful, and it's it's so like it is turned upside down. It's it's a testimony of transformation. And you came up in a time in you know rural Texas, segregated. Mm-hmm. So yes, ma'am. even <laughs> yeah, even experiencing prejudices, and now that you hear and you see things that are going on in the news now about what's happening uh, seemingly just flagrantly to our to black men in custody or not even in custody in pursuit or whatever just being coming up and meeting a police officer there's a threat um does that bring back anything from when you were growing up in that time period uh definitely um when i was growing up the, there was a, the the division was um very uh, clear uh, in the washateria there was a sign that said colored only white only so you had to wash in a certain if you went to the washateria you washed in that area there was uh, segregation in the schools i attended from the first grade up until seventh grade an all black school we received books. We didn't have books, uh, the new books. We received mm-hmm. books from the the um, the white schools, and we were not allowed to take these books home. We could only read them at school. And I remember um, there was, and as far as restaurants were concerned, whenever you went to a restaurant, you could not go through the front door. You had to go on the side door or in the back to get you, make your order. Um, but I and then I was uh, also selected to be a part of a group. Uh, they call this like a, a trial group. Um, when I was in the eighth grade, I went into an all-white school. There were at least uh, seven of us, and we were. Um, faced with um, um, the prejudice and the the uh, the, the looks. And mm-hmm. I remember I loved to sing in the choir, and I remember um, I was singing with all my might and all my, my heart, and I was putting everything I had into it. And I remember this little boy saying, oh, man, she has some big lips. And I was like, oh, my God. 
you know, it, it's just like, oh, my goodness, I know he didn't say that about because I was putting everything into it. And that became right. like a scar. And mm-hmm. so in my book, I talk about uh, scars. You know, we, we prejudice can, can leave a scar on you. And yeah. I talk about how... Um, how um, the, on our bodies, you know, we, we've we had uh, scars from, uh, we may have gone a scratch on us, and I've had some scars on my body that they over, my skin over heals. Mm-hmm. And so, there, you know, in life uh, we can get scars that, that that have to be removed and they have to be re, um, removed so you can, um, take away the hurt, take away the pain. Mm-hmm. I remember one time when um when um I was uh, a little girl I had I had um was playing on a bench and I had fallen and my aunt came and she was calling my name and I was crying and she came over and she began to 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 put some alcohol on that cut. And on most parts of my body the the cuts I have they I have keloid skin and it overheals. But when she okay. began to rub on my on that scar, I don't I can't even uh see it anymore. And in my book I talk about how uh painful sometimes life can be and it can leave scars on us. And we have to have surgery. Um mm. you know, leave the scars on our hearts. Or uh, we had a, a well known um a cardiologist, Dr. Um, DeBecky, and he was um, a, a, a cardiologist, and he operated on the heart. But God is the one that can really operate on our hearts <laughs> when when we have yeah. these scars from life. And that's what happened to me. He began to, to take away... Um, he began to take away the scars. I remember crying out to God, and I said, God, I am tired of going over and doing the same old thing over and over again. I need you to change my life. I need you to turn my life upside down. I need you to do something. And I remember reading this book called Lord Change Me by Evelyn Mm -hmm. Christensen. And she said, get a book. She uh, no, no, she said, get a place. I'm sorry. She said, get a place in your house where you can go and kneel down and pray to God or be with God. That's your place where you meet with God and you began to talk to God. So I remember this yellow rocking chair that I had. And I, re- I remember kneeling down and I cried out to God and I said, God, I need a change. And so God, that wow. so God began the process of the change taking place in my life, and it's called, it's it's like it's like a it's like the um, the uh, the butterfly. I don't know if you've ever read this story, the very hungry caterpillar. But when I was a kindergarten teacher, I used to love to read that story to my kids because it talks about transformation. And in Chapter 6 of my book, it talks about transform from the inside out. And it talks about how this, uh, how the little egg is found on the leaf. And you, can even, you don't even know it's there. It's so tiny. And um, then the caterpillar begins to eat and eat, and it gets fatter and fatter. And then he begins to go through what's called a, the, a change. And he, mm-hmm. he wraps himself in that uh, cocoon, and uh, he's for a time he's in that cocoon because uh, something is happening on the inside. And so the times that I spent with God during that night season, he began to talk with me, and he began to, um, the Holy Spirit began to minister to me, and I, I learned about uh, the power of prayer. I learned about praying in tongues, how powerful mm. it was, it is, and how to put on the whole armor of God. Um, uh, so just like the butterfly goes through that, in that cocoon, he's being changed. That's how God was changing me. And I remember um, um, just uh, being 
uh, suited up for the battle. And um, I remember I was uh, felt like I was being attacked by, um, well, it was a vision, a dream that I was having. And so uh, I talked to uh, Bishop Washington that night, and she Mm -hmm. said, well, did you put your whole armor on? And I said, no, I didn't. She said, well, put your armor on. So I remember dressing for bed that night, and I put my whole armor on, and I got in bed, and the enemy tried to come again. And it's like he tried, but he couldn't. It was like he knew she had her armor on, and it's like the enemy just went out of the the room. This was a vision, a dream that I was having. (laughs) So um, I've I've learned that God is... uh, when he has a plan for you, nothing can hinder it. Nothing can stop it. Because in Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, he says, I know the plan that I have for you. And it's a good plan. And it, and I want the best for you. And, um, and my prayer is that when the persons read this book, their lives will be changed. In the book, after each chapter, I have questions that um that the the reader after they have read the chapter they can go back and reflect and um i wanted to also mention unforgiveness i talk about this in the book because a lot of times we think that uh we're in right relationship with God. Someone could have hurt us or abused us or violated us. And so we don't want to face the truth. And right. uh, and so what what happens is that uh, what happened to me was that I was I was reminded that I was in unforgiveness. And I felt as though I was justified. Why would why would I why why would I love someone who has hurt me or violated me? But I didn't realize that that was my way out. That was the way to escape. Um, the the uh, because when you're in unforgiveness, you you are tormented. And so yeah. um, I re- I remember going to a church, and uh, the pastor said, "There's you know you're gonna have to forgive." And so I, I as I began to think about it, and as I began to um, go to God. And I, I began to release the person. So I had to really go back and release different people in my life. I, I, mm-hmm. I thought it was just that one person. <laughs> but God <laughs> began to show me. He said there were even teachers that I needed to release, that I needed to forgive. Because sometimes teachers don't realize that they can hurt a child by the words that they speak. And so... um I I was also molested when I was a child. So in my book, I talk about that, and I talk about how to forgive, how to release the person, and how to let them go. There's even a prayer that I wrote. Uh, It's very simple. I release you, and I let you go. And as Mm -hmm. we begin to release the people who have hurt us, then we are actually being set free. I'll release you and let you go. That is powerful. Wow, wow, wow. So we can definitely hear, uh, listeners, you need to pick up a copy of Turned Upside Down, My Testimony of Transformation. Uh, How can they get a copy? Oh, yeah. Okay, you can uh, go to Amazon.com, Kindle Fire, Barnes & Noble online, or you can contact, uh, yeah, that's how, or you can contact me uh, direct uh, at 713-397-9837, and I'm at BerthaStJohnYahoo.com. All right. There you go. There you go. And so I, I'm telling you what, powerful, powerful, powerful. Uh, and I always ask my guest, and this is our last question, uh, the goal of my show is to motivate, excite, and influence, and we want to know what continues to motivate you. What continues to motiv- motivate me is to see God move when I 
ask when I am requesting or talking to him in prayer. I see and and when I speak to him about something or communicate with him in prayer, he answers my prayer. Now that to me is the most yeah. exciting thing in the world. <laughs> He's in all things whatsoever you shall. Ask in prayer, believe in it, you're going to receive it. And this is the confidence that we have in him. If we ask anything according to his will, he what? He hears us. And if we yes. know that he hears us, then we have the petitions that we have put forth. And that's what excites me. Amen. Yes, that that's a great note to end on, listeners, right there. Take that with you. Wrap it up. Take it with you uh, on your journey uh, throughout life, throughout the rest of the week. It should just help you get through the week. Uh, that's that's good enough right there. Well, thank you so much again for um, stopping by the show. Oh, thank you so much, much uh, Charvet. Um, thank you for the opportunity, for this platform, for allowing me to express what God has done for me, how he turned my life upside down, and how it will never be the same again. And I appreciate you so much. And may God continue to bless you and keep you, and to your listeners as well, and to Tanya Boyd for contacting me with you. God bless you and God keep you. Amen. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you so much. Amen. All right, listeners, um, that is a wrap for today's show. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, Certainly, if you heard something that was a blessing to you, pass it on. Send the link to a friend and say, "You you need to listen to this. Maybe they'll be at work and they just need some encouragement. This entire show uh, did just that. So share it with someone. And um, we thank you guys always and join us next week as we bring you another phenomenal show. Bye. Live from Richmond, Virginia, you have been listening to the Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Connect with her at charvette.com. And until next week, stay motivated, excited, and influenced. The Charvette Mitchell Radio Show. Signing off. what my unpredictable hair sounded like before frizzies sound familiar we'll stop the crunchiness and celebrate your curls with frizz ease air dry waves it gives you defined touchable waves with soft feather light movement no heat required and no frizz and that's the sound you'll hear and feel with your defined touchable waves from frizz ease Frizz Ease Air Dry Waves, only from John Frieda. I have a rather important announcement, and yes, it concerns Cheetos and chicken fries. Burger King has taken these two deliciously iconic snacks and have created Cheetos Chicken Fries. They're like original chicken fries made with white meat chicken, all juicy on the inside, but dangerously cheesy on the outside, and cooked to crispy perfection. It's like Burger King took the perfect snack and made the perfect snack. Try them now, or they'll be gone faster than an order at Cheetos Chicken Fries. New Cheetos Chicken Fries only at Burger King. Limited time only at participating restaurants.